In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can tweak your playlist and also make it available to your students. So to get started, we're going to go back up here to the gear and I'm going to click on the dashboard. And on the left hand side, I'm going to click on video manager and we're going to go to playlists. Now there's some information here uh, on the playlist page. You can see how many videos are associated with each playlist. So this one has two and this one has one. And this little blue globe here indicates that this is a public playlist. So let's go in and edit one of these. We're gonna click edit. And the very first option at the top of your playlist is you can add a description. So I could put something in here like, uh, these are some great videos that cover concepts from our pre-calculus class. And I'm going to click done. So I've got that description. If I click on the playlist settings, I can change the playlist privacy. And you can think about this just like a Google Doc. This is the visibility of your playlist. So right now it's public, which would be the least restricted option. You could make it unlisted where you would have to provide the URL or address where your playlist is. Or you can make it private where only you can access it. So I'm gonna leave that as public. If you allow embedding, that means that somebody else can put your playlist on their website. And then this option here, you can add new videos to the top of the playlist. So I'm not going to allow embedding. I wanna add new videos to the top of the playlist and I'm gonna click save. So let's take a look at the videos themselves. So when I hover over any video, you'll notice that there's an X on the right hand side if I'd like to get rid of that video. There's also a handle on the left hand side where I can click that to drag videos up or down in the order. So for example, if I'd like to move this video above the first one, I can just drag and drop these in any order that I want to, and it will then play back those videos in that order. Now what's even more interesting is when I go to this more menu, and that's going to pop up on the right hand side, I can actually select the start and end times for the video. So let's say for example, I only want my students to watch a particular portion of the video. I can actually drag this, and you can see it's scrubbing through the video, to a particular portion. So let's say I want to start at the one minute mark, and then I can grab the handle at the other end of the video, and we're gonna put that at about two minutes. So now they're only going to watch that one particular section of the video that I want them to, and the rest of the video uh, will be uh, unavailable. So again, it's only gonna play that portion I selected. I'm gonna click Save. And that's available underneath the More menu. So when you hover over the right-hand side and edit start and end times. Now when I'm ready to share this, if I want my students to access this playlist, I can click share and I can provide them with this shortened link here. I can also share it out through a variety of social networks. You can email it to a group of people. But remember this is also available on your channel. So if I go over here to my channel, and then I click on playlists. Those playlists can be accessed right there.